So today, guys, I want to talk to you guys about different types of wood floors. So maybe you've chose that you really want to go with a hardwood floor, but now you're trying to figure out what kind of hardwood floor, which can be a very daunting thing because there's so many different options. So today I'm going to start with just the fact of, again, just traditional old three-quarter solid, in this case, oak floor. So of course we have a chunk of hardwood here, three-quarters of an inch thick. Traditionally, again, just an oak floor, but you know, maybe you're trying to go, well, I heard somebody say something about engineered wood. You know, what's the difference? Why would I might, again, choose that? Or maybe I don't want that. So I want to show you guys with this product. You can see if you really look at this, it has a kind of funky grain pattern, kind of some weird swirly marks to it. That's because this is a rotary peel. When you look at the veneer, you'll notice it's very thin. And actually, if you've ever taken a pencil sharpener and just taken, of course, sharpen that pencil, that nice little curl that comes off of there, that's actually how they take this. They put a big old lathe, they got a big old log on there, and they peel off a thin surface. And that, again, creates these funky grain patterns what really the disadvantage of this is, is it's just not going to have a very heavy veneer. You're never going to be able to refinish it. But why do the manufacturers make it? You know, of course, again, there's got to be a reason. Well, the reason they're making it is this was built for price point. It's designed to keep the price low. And that way, again, you can afford a nice wood floor. But again, at the sacrifice, maybe a little bit of look. And another downside of that thin veneer is sometimes we get face checking or cracking along the ends of the boards as well. So just kind of, again, advantages and disadvantages. When you go to engineered, the reason someone might choose an engineered over that solid hardwood, though, is because engineered is more stable. So from an expansion and contraction standpoint, the plywood core is cross-plied. So the top layer, the grain might be running this way, but the next layer down, the grain would run the other direction. So what that's doing is it's minimizing the expansion and contraction of that wood. Fun fact, a hickory floor in a 20 square foot area, so if you had a 20 by 20 room, sorry, that would actually expand on average in the width of the board about three inches. Well, you're not noticing it as three inches of movement because each board expands and contracts individually. But by putting it on an engineered, by putting that plywood core, you cut the expansion in almost half. So these products, again, stay tighter from summer to winter. You're not going to have joints that you're going to like be able to roll a quarter down because it shrinks and gaps so bad. So that's the advantage. The Still, again, we got to keep in mind it is a plywood core with that veneer on it, though. And sometimes when it comes to water damage, these are a little more prone to problems when it comes to water damage, where the layers will literally end up splitting or dividing, as opposed to going back to your traditional solid hardwood again, you're gonna have that three quarter chunk of actual hardwood. And it's still gonna, again, it's gonna expand and contract, but as long as you stay in those narrower boards so that you have a lot of expansion joints in the floor, then we don't end up with, again, those big joints where you're gonna be able to roll those quarters down there in the winter time because the wood shrinks up. So that's mainly the differences between your solid and engineered type products that are out there. And of course, again, come see us for more details.